guys it is so nice now it is so hot out what i broke out the paisley shirt everybody's like what where you found summer clothes i had them yo i had them the whole time it is a beautiful day once again i put this into the washing machine and somehow it has stayed intact and it got mostly clean so that's nice take risks <laughs> But yeah, guys, so it's a really nice day today. Um, so far, I've got some fresh air, had a little bit of a walk earlier. Alex started spray painting this here frame that we've been meaning to spray paint for like ever. So that's also nice. I have tons of gardening to do that I have not yet done, but I will get some soil soon. This time you can see the kids, they're actually playing this time. I wasn't making it up before. Had a good day today so far, had two lovely mastermind meetings i had one with carrie carrie isms on youtube shout out to carrie um who just got her hardcover hero planner in the mail she's out in canada so that's really exciting and fun um and then i had a meeting with jasmine tarak who is also on youtube and um i'm gonna see her in new york because i'm leaving on saturday to new york city guys i'm gonna go home for a few days and then head to San Antonio and to Austin and whatnot. So it's really happening. I'm going to the summit. Um, I'm going to the Miracle Morning documentary screening. Like, what the heck? This is so crazy. And you guys are gonna see the adventure of a New Yorker who has absolutely no driver's license try to get by in a big state like Texas. So that should be interesting. <laughs> I'll try not to hitchhike, actually. Um, so we'll see. It's going to be a lot of making friends and connections on the fly, and I'm really excited about it. And over here we got Alex who's working on his here vlog. I'm also going to update my nail polish because it got messy. Yeah. I feel like my life is put together when my nails are done. I don't know. That's a little bit strange, but something that just helps. It's like a form of self-care for me, so I'm going to make my nails look nice. Just in my nails. Hey. So I'm gonna do one Pomodoro of editing and then I'm gonna go outside. Promise, promise, promise. Keep me accountable, guys. This is the little Pomodoro app that I use. So start focusing. So I do 25 minutes of focus and five minute breaks. And then by the third one, I'll do 15 minutes of a break. It's go time. Going out, mini adventure. Don't know where I'm gonna go yet, but usually that just means I'm gonna end up getting pizza. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We don't know yet. Let's see what happens when we go outside. That's home, y'all. So I'm about to listen to the MF CEO podcast. Can't recommend it enough. Andy Frisella, he knows what he's talking about, y'all. So I'm gonna grab my chariot. So I was taking a ride through the neighborhood and came across this place, which you guys may have seen from a few days ago. Uh, Mustafa's kebab is right over here. And it made me remember um, a very poignant story that I wanna tell you guys as to how my dream came true of living here in Berlin and not just anywhere, but actually in this neighborhood. Um, it's a really cool story. I'm gonna grab a seat here. So let me tell you guys how this came to be. Um, it's so funny because the way I ended up living in Berlin is that I was studying in Paris. I was living in Paris for a year um, to do my studies. I was studying sports marketing and uh, dance. So I was there doing that and um, me in Paris, I don't know, it wasn't exactly the right city for me. I just always kind of felt a little bit like an outsider or a little unwelcome. I don't know. I made great friends there, but it just, it just, you know, it didn't really rub me the right way. So then I came um, to Berlin. I had a friend who told me all about Berlin and said, hey, I think you're going to really like it. So then I came here on my birthday in January. Um, and when I did that, it was everything he had said and more like I, I was like whoa I really love this place this is awesome got into bear kind on the first time ever you know what I mean like magical stuff was happening left and right and this is the dead of winter it was probably the coldest I had ever felt in a long time um, so then 
I came back again in the summertime because I was like, what if, what if I just liked Berlin because it was my birthday, you know? So I was like, let me come back. Maybe it was birthday vibes, whatever. So I came back in the summer and let me tell y'all guys, Berlin in the summer is like a whole other universe. Like it's just another level of awesome. And everyone who lives here or has been here in the summer knows this. It's like a whole other level of amazing. So came here in the summertime it was another level I was like oh my gosh I have to absolutely move here um, but when I went here the first time in January one of the last things that I did was my friend took us right over here to Meringham to the Gemüse Kebab by Mustafa right and it's like the best in town supposedly and it is I say the best um, so we ate there and I remember getting it and it was so cold. The line was actually really short. There's always a line. You guys saw Petra the other day there. There's always a line, but because it was like dead of winter, I don't know, maybe it was the time of day, there was like no one on this line. There was maybe, we stood there for maybe 10 minutes, which is like unheard of. So we did that. He was like, even he was shocked. He was like, I can't believe there was no line over here. So then we, we got our food. And it was just so cold. We all had our baggage and everything like that. It was like the last few hours before we were heading to the airport. Got down into the train station and I remember having my dinner and sitting down and thinking to myself, what if this was my train station? And I like embodied it for a minute, like, oh, I'm just coming from somewhere. I just got my kebab. I'm sitting down. I'm about to go home. This is my train station. Where am I going next and stuff like that. So I kind of like played house a little bit and thought to myself like, wow, what if this is my train? And then I thought again, I was like, what if it was, you know, like what if this was my train station? You know what I mean? And then fast forward, like I knew after that I wanted to move to Berlin fast forward I'm working in New York getting everything together researching visas all that jazz and then lo and behold I come back to Berlin live in Neukölln for a little while the next place we ended up getting was actually in the apartment building that you guys just saw that where I live now and it's so funny because it took a while before I noticed that this actually became my train station and I was just like, what the, wow, I can't believe that this actually became my train station. You guys can see, watch. You guys can actually see, like, my apartment building is right there. That yellow thing, that's where I live now. And it's like, how? How did this happen? Now, I'm somebody who definitely believes in the law of attraction. And it's so funny because I, you know, aside from actually living and embodying at that time, I really felt it. and knew that I wanted to live, you know, on a high rise, for example, which is very, like, um, it's very rare for Berlin. No one really lives in high rise buildings. It's like they have, they don't really have easements where you're allowed to have buildings that high and stuff like that. And so it's just funny, like how it all turned out. Every time someone comes over, they're like, whoa, you never see a view like this, you know? But for me, I was seeing this view in visualizations like almost every day when I was living in Brooklyn and working and saving up to come here. And it's just so crazy that it all worked out the way that it did. But I'm also so happy and so grateful, you know? And I just wanted to share this story because it's like, guys, like, you can dream you know like you can dream big and it can happen for you what i'm saying is like if you believe in energy and your thoughts that become things and believing in what you can do and what you want and actually going for it it can happen i'm telling you like i am living proof and this is not the first time this is not the only time this has happened this has happened my entire life like my entire life i've been exercising this but I just didn't know what it was until they started calling it the secret or whatever but it's like it's it's a real way in which the world works I believe I'm not gonna pull out a bunch of whole a bunch of scientific um, excerpts or whatever but from what I learned and from what I did in school I was always an overachiever I did quite well in physics and everything like that when I learned that I was like yo man this is for real you know like energy is for real everything's made up of vibrating energy you can create things so that's what I gotta say about that man like now this is my train station I M, that is my Dooner shop, just like I thought it would be. And my favorite pizza shop is right next to it. <laughs> 
and it's just so cool and I can really say that by 25 I was living the dream that I wanted and I think that that's something that's super special and I would love if that could happen for every single person here <laughs> oh check this out she tied you to the kitchen chair she broke your throat Nice. This is what I mean when I say like Berlin is magical in the summertime. It's not summer, but everyone's acting like it's summer. As <laughs> soon as it gets warm, the smiles come out, the sleeves, we lose the sleeves, everything starts working really nice. And I think now I'm actually gonna get some pizza because it's my favorite pizza shop, y'all. Mm. And I live in the, next to the best Dooner in town. Like I couldn't have, I couldn't have asked for anything better, you know? It's just, it's insane. It's amazing. If you're ever here and don't feel outstanding, you're super duper crazy online. I highly suggest going to the pizza shop right next to it. Right over there is a really good pizza shop. Because this line, I'm telling you, will take about maybe an hour. Usually. 45 minutes is typical. But then you go right over here and get your pizza. You know, I got this pizza and forgot that I rode my bike here. So now that's going to get a little complicated just got home like I was saying I was listening to the MF CEO project podcast on the way and oh my god like yo guys like he is dropping the knowledge right now like pulling all the stops out he's telling everything like it's crazy it's such a good podcast and this one he's talking about how to find yourself it's called how to find yourself with Andy Frisella and he's basically saying that finding yourself isn't so much finding it's more a decision to it's a decision to become yourself not to like one day happen across yourself on the street like oh that's me I found myself no like it's really you decide to be great you decide what you want and that goes right into the story I was just telling you right before I got the pizza where it was like I decided I wanted to live here you know like I decided I wanted that to be my train station and all this stuff and it sort of conspired and happened in that way but if I didn't decide like hey I want to move to Berlin I want to do this I want to do that then none of it would have ever happened and he's so right and and then it just also made me even feel even better because that's what the hashtag hero planner is built upon it's built upon seeing the things you have to do and then choosing to become what you need to become to do those things to get to your goals it's exactly what I'm saying yeah yeah it's super exciting anyway that's what happened when I walked in here I just got really really hype because I'm like this is what I'm talking about if this billionaire guy is talking about it then I feel like I'm somewhere on the right plane of getting where I need to go man because I'm telling you it's not a coincidence like there's a way of thinking that brings you the results that you want and I think if you surround yourself with that then it will be a reality for you as well and right now my reality is these this pizza but it's also really great podcast so I'm gonna put that in the description because I think it'll be very helpful to you. I highly recommend checking out all of his podcasts. Um, I listen to them on repeat a lot of the times just riding around Berlin because some of them are so, 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 so good. But yeah. And I'm gonna cap it off at that. I'm gonna eat my pizza. This is my favorite, guys. Look at this. This one's my favorite. And at this place, you used to be able to get any pizza with any toppings for two euro. And now my favorite pizza went up 50 cents because I'm telling you, all the all the tourists come and they're like, oh my gosh, this is so cheap. This is so cheap. How is this so cheap? And now they raise the price. But that's okay because I live here and I get to eat it whenever I feel like it. So, hey. Anyway, guys, this has been Super Ivy, the hashtag hero. Hero. Definitely check out the Hashtag Hero Planner. I just created it and it's designed to help you achieve your unique social impact goals in a creative and fun way. You can find the link in the description. See you tomorrow.